Welcome to an Unbox with Josh and today we have the specialist of guests. This is our little series we're doing where I have a guest in and today we have Tamika Bennett. Hi. Say hi. Hello. She's got 139,000 followers on TikTok and to be honest she's the queen of good vibes. Yes. I'm literally like, I feel like I'm in the presence of a goddess. No you're not. No. We're both goddesses. Together. Yeah. Collectively yeah. we're a goddess. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we're going to do an unboxing and today I've decided I'm going to rate the items, whether Tamika would wear them or not. That's the vibes. Are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you excited? I am excited. I'm so excited. You can choose the first one. I want to choose the one that's pink. Okay, go for it. I'm going to go for the one just below as well. Ooh, first item. Ooh, we've got Ooh. some Christian Le Bouton. We love it. This box feels funny. This box looks funny. AKA, I feel like this is a, a bad sign. They've come with an authenticity card, and Christian Louboutin don't come with authenticity cards. So they are. So they're fake. Great These are job. fake. The first item you've opened is a fake. <laughs> you are bad luck. I know. The first item, and look at the box as well. See, it's like ripped on the corners. Yeah. And you'll see, we'll get another pair of Louboutins, I'm sure, and it is not this material. This is like... What does a Christian Louboutin box look like? Well, this is a real one. Yeah. See, it's uh, like yeah. that material. I what is that? That looks like a laminate. Like, it, yeah, exactly, laminate. and it looks like it's been painted on. Not okay. Not only are they fake, sorry to the person who sent them in, but, but they, they look, look like clown shoes. Yeah, they are all I'm so sorry to that person. But you have a fake item, and what do we do with fake items? You throw them out. Yeah. No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do with it? We send them back. What? We send them back. <laughs> These are Louis Vuitton Runaways. Okay. They're quite basic, I know, but it's a cool colour. You see, I, I, I did Would you I, wear them? You know what? I wouldn't buy them, like, but I actually would wear them. Like, if you were gifted them, you would if wear I them? If I was gifted them, I would wear them. I'd struggle finding an outfit, but I'd make it quite cheap. This is literally my vibe. Like, what would you, what jeans do you put with them? I don't even, I don't even know. You couldn't I feel like Baggy would just completely take them over. Yeah. Couldn't wear flares because that's could wear weird. flares and that you're left with skinny. You know what I feel like? It would have to be like jean shorts, baggy jean shorts. Love that. With like socks. That's a vibe. That is and a like vibe. And like a blazer or something. You've got it. You've literally got it. And like this colour pink in the blazer. Yeah. Okay. And like that type of jewellery. Yes. Definitely. Wow. She's a stylist, ladies and gentlemen. She is a stylist. Uh, so you would wear them, but you wouldn't purchase them. No. We love to see it. Next next item, which one are you going to go? This one. That's quite cutely wrapped. I'll go for the one behind it, because why not? Right, whilst we are unboxing this one, I will ask my first question. So, okay. you have uh, on your TikTok rated people's outfits. Yeah. So my first question is, why did you rate me an 8 out of 10? Because... <laughs> <laughs> Because, no, hang on. I'm waiting. Because it weighed a 10 out of 10 because it was quite casual. Jeez. Like Nah, I'm on to you. Like, it, it was quite casual. It weighed a 9 because, like, it was just like a jumper and pants. Yeah, I'm but on you to see, you. But the jumper and pants was amazing. Great colours. Yeah, amazing colours, amazing coordination. Yeah, but. You smashed it. It's only a 2 away. It is 2 away. I'll see, take I, it. I, I was hurt for a bit. And I can't be biased, Dad. You yeah. see, with you, I actually gave, I wasn't gave you an hour, but I made it eight because people know that I, I know you. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, so I don't want people to think I'm just being nice to my Fair friends. enough. I'll take that. I'll take that. Because I'm, I'm a fair person. What have you got, sis? Okay, take that. Okay. Okay, let me sit on. Oh, I haven't seen a pair of these in years. Oh. Oh, I just okay. can't. I'm sorry. I just can't. I'm not even going to lie. Back when I was 14, these were my dream shoes. For a basic trainer, they're quite cool. You see, the thing is, is that with these, even though they are quite, I feel like they are quite, you know, basic, but I do like them. Yeah. They're not an awful shoe. But would you wear them? No. I would never we wear them. We love the honesty. We love the honesty. I would also never wear them. Cute. Just a simple purse. It is cute, isn't it? It's cute. It's so cute. <gasps> and the inside colour is okay, so no, cute Okay, no, I love that. Would you get it? Would you no, buy it? I wouldn't buy it. But you would wear it? But I'd wear it. Cute. I'd I wear it like... in a bag, like I wouldn't just rock about with it. Oh, would you not? No. I think it's, I like the shape of it to just rock about with it, just like carry it like, uh, next on. I'm going to go for this one. Okay, let's go for my next question. Look at this little cute card we've got as well. This is so cute. So cute, love okay. It. So, if I said to you like, oh, 
we'll get you a designer item. Yeah. What would the designer item be? What designer item, no matter how much it would be, like, what would you say I know, I've got your the top designer item is at the moment? Have you seen the new Versace shoes? The one that looks like brats? Yes. Um, the heels. Yeah. The massive heel boots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are so you, to be fair. Yeah, it would they be them ones. so expensive. It would be them ones in pink. I actually do love them, to be fair. They yeah. are so brats. Brats dolls here. I, well, I honestly, now I've had a dream of me wearing those shoes. Oh, it's, it's a hat. Oh, it's a bucket hat? Oh, you know what? That's cute. That is so you. That is cute. Oh, obsessed with that. Does it look cute? No, that's not okay. okay. Okay, so we found one more thing that I yeah, want to wear. Yeah, that is something. I feel like you buy it as well. I would buy it. I actually really like this colour. Are we ready for this? Ooh, no, they are gorgeous. Aren't they gorgeous? They are They are, are actually gorgeous. They're proper futuristic, aren't they? They are so futuristic. Do you know what? Balenciaga, I feel like when I came in here, I was a bit like overrated. But the more I'm seeing it, the more I'm like, look at the work that's been. To be honest, I actually, year. I would, I would buy these. I would yeah, wear these. No, I would so rock would these. I. So would I, sis. And you would rock them so well. I, I honestly know. I just, I love how messy they are because I like things that don't make sense. Yeah, and the double lace. Yeah. Like, what the hell? And it's like they're so ugly to the point where they're gorgeous. It's art. I want this little one. Do you know what? I love opening little parcels. I always say they're so much more interesting. I love the way you say parcels. Parcels. I'll open this one, you open that one. Sally McCartney, we love Vegan Ooh. Queen. And she's from Liverpool. Really? Oh my God, this is so cute. Oh, it's like a little This mini. is so cute. Oh, oh my God, this is so cute. Oh my God, I, I want this. It's adorable. Isn't that adorable? I feel like a giant. Oh my God. Oh, how cute is it? No, that is too cute. I feel like a giant. That's so adorable. I mean, what can you even? Nothing. Can I even fit my lippy in there? Let's see. On? Let's try. Can I fit my lippy in I don't this? think I can fit anything in there. Oh, let's see. If I Maybe can my will to live. <laughs> that was oh. impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I can no, that doesn't even fit me, me lippy in there. That's it. bad, that. Oh, you can try this. Let's see. <laughs> Scream. <laughs> it fits though. It fits, okay. It, okay. It so fits a tampon, everyone. Yeah, it fits a tampon, that's it. It doesn't fit lip gloss. Screaming at that. Fair enough. Okay. The way we both are. <laughs> okay, bye, guys. Hello, guys. Wow. This is okay. so cool. I love them. I, I feel like a connection. <laughs> yeah. These are so cool. These are so you. I'd, no, I was thinking I would rock. These. You actually would rock these. Sort of yeah. vibes. Okay. They are so cute. Are they your favourite items so far? I've still got to go with the others. Like that. The other ones. The grey ones. Yeah. Okay. My next question. I actually really want to know this one. Okay. What is your most favourite outfit you've worn? Do you have one? And what is it? Ooh. Like in the past. In the past. Okay. Should we go through your Instagram? Oh, I know which one. Have you got it? Okay, cool. Better not have deleted this one. Oh, I love that. That was my favourite one by far. That is so cute. I try and show the camera. That is one. This one. Is that good? That. That one is my favourite one. It's so bright. Yeah, I'll, I'll open. Oh, it could be a coat. No, it's oh, two bags. I think I'm gonna love this. I think you're gonna love this I too. I think I'm gonna love this. Put this one out. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is so white and pale. <gasps> that is so you. I absolutely love that. That is so you. the little shimmer in it. Oh. oh my god, that is so cute. How cute is that? Is it the same? Let's have a look. Oh my god, it is. Oh my god, but it's got like a proper Ed Hardy style print oh, on actually, it. Oh, now I don't know which one I like more. I think I this think one, one is you. Uh, yeah. Why no, that's that? you. Oh and my god, we've got like pairs me again. Me and you going to the airport or something. That is us. Like, yes. Excuse definitely. me. Sorry. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this. I love that. Would you wear it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Would you buy it? Yes. yes. <laughs> oh my days, I actually would. I know I'm gonna like these. I know you're gonna like them too. Ooh. Oh. They are. It's like a, it's like if a brat star was a road man. It actually she would wear Yes, race. a brat star crossover with a road, a road man. man. She would wear oh yeah, you know what, I'd wear them. Yeah. I'd wear them, I'd buy would. them, I'd wear them. You would wear them, you would buy them. Oh. They are so cool. I really like this colorway. 
Okay. What is your opinion on triple S? No, I do love, I do love triple S. I am not even gonna lie. I've got like a black them. hair. Do you? Yeah. Obsessed with that. And it's him, um, you know, the one with the clear soul. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I don't wear them anymore though, not my vibe anymore, yeah, but yeah, I do yeah. love a triple S. Yeah. Not really, I feel like I've just seen too many little 14 year olds in these. In them, yeah, I agree. To the point where I just... Tracks or triple S, is that the question? Tracks or triple I'd say tracks. Tracks. What is one life lesson that you would give to everyone? Like, what is one thing that you're like, oh, I take, carry that with me and I want to give it to you? I think one thing is, is that if you're a weirdo, just accept it. Like, if, if you don't fit in, most people that don't fit in are the ones that are going to stand out one day because I never fitted in. And no one liked me in school. And like, now look at me now. Yeah. Because it's kind of like that. That is literally, wow. It's like people just recognise when you have such a strong presence, people are just intimidated by you. And when you don't know who you are, you'll be confused on why people don't like you. And it's but it's because to... it's because you're an icon in the making. Just don't care about what people think, honestly. My question for you is do you get hate comments and how do you combat them? So sometimes I do get hate comments, sometimes like sometimes I just know I'm better than them. Love that. But then in the most humble way possible. Yeah. Um, of course. But like some we're, of them we're I, really humble. <laughs> <laughs> but some of them I actually do respond to. But it's just kinda like I know I I know myself now, like my confidence is way too high. Yeah. For any hate comments. For any hate comments yeah, like, you down. Sometimes it'll get me down. And then I remember for like a few minutes. Yeah, and then I remember who I am and I'm happy again. I love that. Like sometimes I remember like you know onto the video where I got that hate comment about the size of my forehead. Oh, that's and I not just responded okay. to it. Who the hell comments that? In Insecure it? people. No, but Projection. I just but you see like I had a response to that, like a genuine response. Yeah. Did you see it? I think the video. Yeah. Where you talk about your forehead size. And I was saying how like it's a okay courtesy to, to you. Yeah. Yeah, you see, like that's just what I think. I, I just it. I just think like look at my face. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. That's literally what you're saying. <laughs> like honestly, like for me, I'm not gonna act like they don't like I don't read them because mm. I do read them. It depends on what it is. Sometimes I'll just delete them because understand like this is social media. Mm -hmm. But then like I just said, like I know who I am, I know my way. I respect that. It will get me down for a second. I remember who I am. And then it's I'm happy off. again. Yeah. At the start I got a way more, but now I'm not so much. But I'll get like if one good video goes viral, there's always hate comments being like about being gay or stuff like that, like even little ones. And I'm always, you know what, I just think to myself, I'm like, it is just projection. Yeah. Like it is internalised homophobia. Like you are ov obviously suffering with something yourself and you'll project it onto me. And honestly, if you're going to project that onto me, I'm secure enough to take it. Like that's if what that it is. is. If that's your release, I don't really care. We're getting a lot of shoes in. I want more bags. I yeah, like I'm actually bags. enjoying the shoes. I like getting bags. Shoes in. What would you prefer, bags or shoes? Shoes, because I just put all my stuff in my pockets. Oh really? But you always need a good shoe. Don't and you? that is like, if you had to keep one, you'd keep shoes. I would keep shoes. Wow, I love that. My shoes are my life. I would choose bags. Really? You see, like I, I have loads of shoes and only like three bags. I would prefer to have more bags than shoes, on the basis that I have no idea why, but I seem to like walk funny or something because all the shoes that I have get ruined. Like I will walk in here and they'll just have a go at me for how my shoes look. <laughs> I just get them so messy. I am so like bad with that. Like I do not look after my shoes. Valentino's, what are we thinking? Oh, I don't like these. I don't like, I don't like these. That is, no. no. They're the exact same as the black ones. Yeah, just but in it, nude. Uh, no, I, I've, I've, no, no. No. No, I, I, have, I have no words. No, I take that. Nude shoes are just not the ones for me. No. I'm sorry. And then all blacks. Ah, uh, you know what, right? I like them on lads. I really do. Yeah. I don't know whether it's just the scouts in me, but a lad and a pair of Valentinos. It is quite. I, I do like it. Do you? So if I, I, I would. Yeah. I'll take that. You That's... see, obviously not now. I feel like they're still a bit outdated. Like. like yeah, I get that. Show a bit, but... I do get that, but they're so popular. Like they are so. Popular. I don't know. I just feel like you know what the thing is is. I don't like how flat they are at the front, but mm. I do like this bit. I just don't like a trainer shape. Let me start. My next one. question for you. Obviously, you're a confident person, and I would like to say I am too. What would you say makes a confident person? Um, or how would you say for someone who's struggling with their confidence to be like, get back in the game? I think for me, speaking of like how I became confident, it was literally just kind of like, 
an epiphany. I think I was at like a really weak point. Yeah. And like, I was just kind of like, ah, uh, my standards are so high and I'm not living up to my standards at all. Like, respect that. I am the most, like, obviously, I think everyone is beautiful. Like, everyone is built beautifully and yeah. you just need to know that. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think anyone deserves compliments. No. Like, you can't, Ooh. you can't rely on someone else to make you feel good. If you're relying on someone else to make you feel good, then like, you need to work on that. If you can't look at yourself in the mirror and like, hype yourself up, then that's an issue. Then that's an issue. That's an issue. Like, I feel like... That's such a good way to look at it, you know? Yeah, like, I just feel like what makes a confident person is knowing that they might not be the most beautiful person in the world, but they are beautiful to themselves. Like, their self. Like, right. yeah. They just know their self-worth. Respect self-worth. Respect them. Self. Self-worth. Self-worth. Self. That's a bloody tongue twister. It is. Self-worth. I respect that, though. Yeah. I like them. I actually do like them. I've too. just said I like them to like the most all white Alexander McQueen's ever. But I actually, no, really I like do the laces. Like them. And I love how they're a bit pop arty. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. this black bit. Very, there's only one pair of shoes, isn't there? Yeah. Are you for real? <laughs> and there's, oh, oh, there's, there's two. Now. There's two. Wow. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. I don't know how to feel. Oh, no. Yeah. I don't want to. I feel like this could be insulting, but they do remind me a bit of you. I feel like you could wear them. Because like, like I'm colourful in it. Because you, they would look cool with like your bangles and your rings. Do you know what I mean? Like this ring right there. Can we try and look at this? Look at that. Yeah. Like they are. So to be honest, I do. I do get it. I just think they're a bit clowny. Like I hate this. They are a bit clowny. That is aren't they? horrible. This, the, this bit. The watch. Yeah, it. that's. That's nasty. A bit off-putting. It's nasty. You're nasty. You know, that was the mean way to use nasty. I no, but that. it's just, yeah, I get that. You see, if that had white laces, I would actually, like, I just love all white shoes. I can't get really? over my passion for all white shoes. Okay, we've got some birds. Ooh. This yeah. can go one of two ways. <coughs> Sorry. Um, Do you know what, though? Do you know what? Do uh, you know what? You know what, right? Everyone's entitled to their own style. Yeah, and if your style is pink glitter, these are perfect. You and do. these are unreal. You know, yeah, exactly. Fashion is meant to be a representation of who you are. And I feel like are. this represents a lot of people. Yeah, do I like them? No. No. Would I buy them? No. no. Would I wear them? No. no. But each Love to it. their own, innit? Yeah, each to their own. I like them. I like, if I saw someone walking down the street and them, my immediate thing would be like, go off, sis. Mm. I'd be like, she's got, she's took, put her uh, confident shoes on today. Yeah, they are quite busy shoes. They I'm are not gonna busy lie. Like, shoes. You, you need, yeah. You need yeah. confidence. Yeah. I'd yeah. actually respect the person who wears those shoes. Exactly, so we just turn a negative into a positive. Yeah. I want to go for the big one. Okay, go for it. Let's, let's open this one first, also here. I'm pretty sure I was right. I was right. Oh, it's a Burberry satchel. That is classy. That is classy. That this is, is. Oh my god, look at the handle length. I love that. You know what? I love that. I love that. This like wine colour is so cute. Oh, the glass. I'm obsessed with that. No, I think that's nice for them. Oh, that suits you. Thanks so much. You know what? I, I actually really like that box to be there. See? This colour's and so that, cute. And that's the perfect like length. Length? It actually I love, is. I love when bags do that, you know, when there's like, like come out like things. that. I love it. Do you know what? Same. It's the little things, yeah, hey? Would yeah. you wear it? Yeah. Would you buy it? Yeah, depending on the outfit actually was, I think. Same. I could imagine wearing this, right, with like a flare, flare suit. Yeah. Emerald green. Cute. With like a blouse and like like a colourful little um, tie to go around the neck. I love that. A little scarf and that. Green, you are so good at putting outfits together like feel, on the spot. I feel like, you She's know what? come prepared. You know what, I always do. You know, I just like dream of myself and like all my outfits. outfits. Yeah. I never even realised, like, it's weird how much, like, I became obsessed with fashion so randomly. Just, like, slowly. What would you say was the thing that made you, like, fully get into fashion? I think, I think, you know, it, it's since, like, I found, like, since I became quite secure in myself and who I am. You were able to just... I was able to find me inside, like, I started looking for my style. Like, translate your confidence into your outfits. Yeah, and it started off by going through, like, my mum's stuff. Because mm -hmm. she has just a suitcase full of, like, old clothes. Yeah. And it was from that, and I thought, these are all so ugly. And I used to just give myself little challenges where I'm to, making like, an outfit. To, make them not ugly. And then from there, I just, like, started loving fashion and just put outfits together yeah. all the time. Let's open this little Louie. This is cute. Oh, she's adorable. That is quite cute to be Isn't she so cute? And like, look at the red detailing. Ready? I love how they do that, you know. Oh, that's so rich. 
That is okay. That is so rich. <laughs> that is so rich. That is like, like getting a fine and then being like, oh, it's fine, darling. Yeah. Cash all cards. Yeah. Cash all cards. It's literally cash, cash all cards. Cash all cards. That is the situation. This one's come from abroad. This one's come from. Where has it come from? Dubai. Dubai. Ooh. Gosh, so, she's a big one. Like yeah. Wow. How unreal. That is um, I'm obsessed with that, so I hope it's a good item. Because you're TikTok famous, mm. we love to see it. Um, what is your best advice for someone who wants to start a TikTok account and get like the same level as you? Do you know what I mean? The best thing to promote is like your personality. Because like I think the only reason like I started getting followers in the beginning, like that was before I even started like dressing the way I dress, it was literally because of like just my personality, yeah. just the way like I talked and be human and stuff like that. Like you will only like it's yourself, just to yourself. yourself. And also consistency, because like you'll post one video and you'll expect it to get like a million so views and it won't. Yeah. But then it's weird though, because actually with TikTok, you can't have any, like what's the word? Expectations. Yeah. Because you could like spend hours on a TikTok thinking and this is gonna blow, it won't blow. And then you'll post a random one of you just waffling and it'll go crazy. What is the best comment you've ever received? Like on a TikTok? What's one that you've been like, oh, it's stuck with me? Probably that I look like I smell nice. <laughs> Do you know what though? I respect. I get it. That is. I completely get it. I think it. that's such because like have you, you ever, look like you smell nice. Have you ever looked at someone for, through a screen and you just know that they don't smell nice or they yes. just look a bit? So yes. when someone says that it's nice, but then I think another compliment that I got was um, a more meaningful one. Oh, is probably know. like that they was at like a really hard time to, like when they like, watch my videos. I think someone commented like. I was literally really suicidal before your videos. I think that was one that always... And it's so true, like, it sounds so dramatic, but it genuinely is so true, because, like, it's the one, like, there's one thing that keeps people going, and it, it might just be you. Yeah. Really. And that's the coolest thing. And ever. I think that's what, like, makes me really love TikTok. Mm -hmm. Like, despite how toxic it can be. Like, you just, so you just have, like, these people that you don't even know, don't even know you, that just, like, literally choose to be loyal to you, and I yeah. think that's just amazing. I asked you this before, I did, but I'm going to ask you it now. Do you get stopped on the street, and how do you deal with it? I do get stopped on the street, and honestly, I just can't panic. It's panic. It's, it's weird, because I pride myself off of being a professional attention seeker. I take that position very seriously. We are the same person. So I literally that's how that is me. So the fact that like I'm getting attention and I don't know how to deal with it is weird. I'm it's, like, Tamika, what are you doing? Yeah, like this is what you want. This is like everything you are. To be fair, it depends though. Like if if like they come over to me and like, oh my gosh, I know who you are, then I'll like, I'll I'll be there for an hour just talking, just talking to, them. to them. But you know, when like they're from the other side of the road and they're screaming, You're from TikTok. You're just like, I'm just like uncomfortable yeah like i just can't like squirm into like, me now fully and we were saying before like tiktok is so different like if you see a singer or an actor or anything and like when the people see them you just sort of have like you're like inspired they're cool they're like wow yeah. and like you can take a picture with them and it's normal yeah. with tiktok we are just <laughs> normal people who are just like no like do you yeah. know what I mean? there's nothing else i actually have, we film ourselves yeah i actually have had a couple of people ask me for pictures me too and and i just I, don't what know what do i just do? Like, i just feel like the first thing i say to myself is who do i think i am yeah like you just you just belittle you're yourself like, don't you yeah. belittle yourself you belittle yourself. and you're like if anyone looks at me now i'm so embarrassed <laughs> yeah. but like you shouldn't be because like i remember once I was like, I was, I was out and I saw, people saw me who knew me, but I didn't see them. Yeah. And these like girls came over to ask me for a picture and stuff. And then like, they were like, who are you? Like, who are you? Why is people asking me for pictures? Yeah. I was like, like, I've got like TikTok. TikTok. And they were like, you have to explain it. Like, yeah. yeah. TikTok, you know, that's all. <laughs> and I'm like, ah. Right, are we going to open these now? Can we do, we need to do these. Okay, we'll do these. You saw these before. I got like a little you... glimpse and I knew okay, okay. I really hope they're as good as I thought they were. I just, any... Le boot on heels. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the front is really disappointing. The front is disappointing. The front is disappointing. But they, I just love leopard prints. Everyone, know, everyone who knows me now, I die for You're leopard prints. You're a leopard print. print kind of girl. You see these, you just have to rock these with like a suit. A suit. A black suit. The heel is saying a black suit. 
But like it has, you have to have like a slick back pony. You need to pull up in a Rolls Royce in these. I always say a businesswoman. A businesswoman. A woman too. about her business would yes. be rocking these heels. Oh. This is gonna be nice. I feel. I haven't seen. I've never seen a pair of Dior shoes. I don't think these are shoes. How do you know? Let me look first. No. It's a bag. It's not. It's it's a bag. It's a bag. Oh when you God, get excited like that, die. I get excited. I'm sorry, I just... Oh my God. It's a Lady Dior and it's named after Princess Diana. It's cute. Do you not like it? it? it no, I do not like it. It's but just, it's just not your vibe. It's not, I just, I don't like these colours. See, to me, this is so 2000s. This is so classy. This is classic 2000s. Like, this is a Dior 2000s bag. I, I was crazy. I, I will. I get that you don't like it because. No, I no. It's not even a colour. I just not an about to catches my eye. Like I could happily walk past that in a shop. Do you know what? Though? <laughs> she speaks her truth. She says the truth, the whole truth, and, and nothing, nothing but, but the, the truth. truth. What's been your favourite item? It will probably be the bag, the Gucci bag. That is just so you. My oh. favourite item is the mini Stella McCartney. I think. Which one, the grey or black? The black. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad she said the, the black. mini black Stella McCartney. This that this is just phenomenal. iconic. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. I just want to stand with it. Yeah, I work just, it. I Literally work that. Oh. oh, she is going about her business. I love it. She has a busy day. I have had a very busy day. Yeah. Well, at least She's I can do it in style. 99 problems in this bag. And that, that is you. Uh, I feel like I've got a stand. Just like. Oh, it's so cute. It's so <laughs> cute. It is so cute. And it's vegan. It's vegan and cute like me.